The UK Fire and Rescue Service has a fantastic reputation across the world for its standards and its professionalism and the Fire Service College has been at the heart of delivering training for that for the last 39 years. Our training is delivered to the highest possible standards in what's an absolutely outstanding facility. In particular, our instrument command courses and our specialist technical courses are amongst the very best in the world. The Fire and Rescue Service has been very successful in reducing the number of incidents they attend through fire safety prevention work over recent years. And on the job training and experience is not as readily available as it used to be. So training becomes more important and the ability here to provide immersive training, whether that be out on the instant ground or in our simulation suite, is incredibly valuable. There's been a number of recent large-scale incidents. I think they've all highlighted the need for outstanding incident command training. And that's why it's one of the first courses we've looked at to transform. And we'll be doing that in the new year in a new simulation facility. I think it will make our offer around incident command training in the simulation environment compelling. And to be able to provide that level of realistic immersive training in the future is going to be incredibly valuable for the Fire Service College. We deliver high quality training, but we quality assure that. And we deliver it to common and consistent national standards. And we are seen to, in the UK, to be the best when it comes to fire and rescue activity. The college has some fantastic facilities. We've got the classrooms, we've got the simulation suite, the incident ground as we call it, with the realistic training rigs. A swimming pool, a fully equipped gym, as well as sports fields, and a superb sports hall, and bars to allow them to relax in the evening. We're also trying to reinvigorate Fire Service College so the facilities will start to change as we go forward. We've already refurbished bowls and there's smart new rooms in there. And very shortly we'll start work on a new 100 bed accommodation block. We're also looking at delivering some training facilities. So there's changing rooms, hot showers and drying rooms, as well as teaching classrooms out on the instant ground. It's around the quality of the training that we provide and the realistic conditions that we've got to train people in. We aspire to be the world's best fire training organisation, but also to branch out and expand into multi-agency training, so that we're looking at all the blue light training organisations, as well as Category 2 responders and those that support critical infrastructure. Because in many of these instances we're seeing, it really is all three services working together I think we've got something to offer those organisations across the UK to help them deliver more realistic training to become better prepared. They don't get to practice a lot, they don't get to exercise a lot and our facilities here at Morton Marsh allow that. We've got a huge area, 360 acres and they can come and explore how they work together in a safe environment. <laughs>